Hi there, it's Jim from Janku, and today I want to take a look at downloading and installing Go on an Ubuntu 18 laptop. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to only be using the graphical user interface, so I'm not going to touch the command line at all, and I can show you how you can get this set up just using your computer's standard tools. So first, I'm over here at the golang.org website, and on the homepage here, there's this blue button that says Download Go. I'm going to click that. And you see download options here for the different operating systems. Since I'm on a Linux computer, I'm going to click this one here. And I'm going to save the file and say OK. Now you notice that this is Go version 1.14.2. OK, my download finished over here. So I'm going to open up my file browser. And I'm going to go to my downloads. And then you see that we have this tar.gzipped file here. If I right click on this, I can extract it to the same directory. And that basically unpacks this file here. And now we have this folder for Go here. And I can open that up. And inside here, you see the Go folder. So what we want to do is we want to move this folder to a location on our computer where we can execute the Go command anywhere and it can run still. So I'm going to go over to my file browser. I'm going to right click on this and open a new window here. And then I'm going to go to other locations. And I'm going to go to the hard disk for my computer here. So this is the forward slash or the root of my computer. And you have all these folders at the top level of your computer there. So I'm going to go to user, local. And then I'm going to open up this current local directory as an administrator. That will allow me to copy this go folder into this folder. So I'll right click and I'll say open as administrator. Then I'll enter the password for my computer. And now I'll just come over here and for my downloads, I'll download the Go subfolder into this folder here. Okay, now that that folder is copied over, if we go over here and we look inside the Go folder, you'll notice that we have this bin folder here. And inside the bin folder is the actual executable for Go. So we have to make sure that this is in our path so we can run the Go command anywhere on our computer. The way we can go about doing that is we can go back to our home directory here. And in your home directory, click on the options for your file browser, and then show hidden files. So hidden files are dot files on your computer. Click that, and you should have a hidden file called dot bash rc. If you right click on this, you can open it with a text editor. So we'll open this up, it looks something like this. And just go down to the very bottom of this file, and add a new line. I'll first add a comment, so I'll start it with a hash, and I'll say add go to path and then I'll write export path equals dollar sign path and then we'll put the path to that directory that we just referenced so user local go bin and then you can save this file click save and you can exit out now in order for that change to take place in this file, we usually do something on the terminal called sourcing the file. But since we're trying to do this without the terminal, what you can also do is you can just restart your computer. I'm going to run that right now just so we can get that done. So I'll close out of everything here. But before we go and do that, I just want to reference this article here on Medium. So a lot of tutorials you might find online talk about setting up something called GoPath. And there's another environment variable called GoRoot. With the newer versions of Go, you don't need to set these up anymore. So as long as you have the binary in the path so you can run Go, you shouldn't need to set these up. OK, let's restart our computer. OK, so we're back over here on the other side. And now that thing I said in the beginning about not using a terminal for this, I lied a little bit because there's no real way to run the Go application without entering the terminal. So let's just go up here and search for our terminal and open that up real quick. Expand that and increase the size a little bit. And let's just run go and press enter. So you see we get all these help topics popping up here. And we have some commands. So it looks like go is successfully installed on our system. If you wanted to see exactly where it's installed, even though you probably know since we just did that, you could type in which go. And it shows that it's installed at the location user local go bin go. And you can also check the Go version by running Go version. And you can see that we have Go version 1.14.2. So that's all you need to do to get Go set up on your computer. Stay tuned for our channel for more Go tutorials in the near future. We'll teach you some of the basics about how to use the language and go through some projects together to help you learn the language a little better. 
All right, thanks for watching, and until next time, we'll see ya.